Mom? Mom, is the whole block out? I guess she's asleep. Mom? Melanie! Who's that? Who the hell is that? Step right to the daughter! Wait! Step right to the daughter! No, no, don't look at me like that. What happened in that house? There's no sign of the witch. Fuck ah! this place. For when the bells will make me it'll be the last thing you'll ever see. Hmm. Hmm. Can I smile? Can I give you a smile? Or maybe even a kiss? Maybe something, something. I'm trying to. You what? Have you ever played the game? Operation. Oh, come on! No. You stay the hell away from my son! Come. Then. Relax! She's a vampire! Okay, dude, let us straight up something in the corn shit. What's up, everybody? What's going on? What's going on? Episode three. Episode three. I'm having a lot of fun doing this. I'm just coming off another great weekend of filming The Awakening. Um, there's some things that I've never really tried before that is happening in this film, and it's just it's been just a lot of fun. Just you know, just action sequences, and I've done kills before, but there's just some great kills going on in here, and everyone's just working their butts off and. You know, definitely hats off to my cast and crew for just really just, you know, just putting a great effort into this film. I, we're almost done. We're close. We're three more days, three more days of filming before principal is wrapped and then, uh, and then you know, get to pick up shots and B-roll shots. But uh, other than that, hope everyone had a great weekend. I know I did. I had a fun weekend. Um, whew, man, so uh, that, that Walking Dead mid-season finale. Like, I read the comics, so I kind of knew some of the stuff that might be coming. I was wondering if they'd go there. But, man, that was just that was just a sad, crazy, oh, my gosh, that just happened, uh, Missy's finale. So I'm just, uh, wow, that was just amazing how that happened there. Um, the subject we'll be talking about today is going to be talking about what I was talking about before previously, um, you know, filming The Awakening. Also going to be discussing uh, more of the Awakening Tales, going into more details about some of the stories and some of the things that's going on there. Then also got an interview with one of the actresses in the Awakening and the Awakening Tales, um, actress Cher Shiree. And then I'm um, talking about uh, some upcoming projects from some other people, from, my, from pretty much the stunt team that um, has been doing all the stunts and um, all the fights for uh, the Awakening, uh, Genesis stunt team. So with that said, let's get to our first subject, the Awakening. Filming this weekend was just awesome. Filming this weekend was just awesome. There's two different things going on. Um, definitely got to give a big um, shout out to Mina. She's my second AD on the film, but she's also she's been helping out a lot, a lot. Cause she's also she's an acting coach, so she's been helping getting a lot of the actors to where they need to be, to where I need them to be, you know, to deliver and pretty much get the vision and the, the tone of the awakening. Um, She's also acting in this. Um, and she did just this great, great emotional scene with um, Raul Colon. Brought him in. Uh, nicest guy in the world. Big dude. Big dude, but freaking nicest guy in the world. And they had this awesome, this intense father-daughter scene that was just, it was just brilliant. Um, it's, a little, it's the way we set up the lighting and everything. And it's, it was just both of them in the room, and it was just... It was just a great scene, and um, the kill scene was just, wow. <laughs> kill scene was what exactly how I envisioned it, and they just pretty much, they definitely pulled it off. So uh, big ups to both of them for pulling that off. Um, then we also had um, some fight scenes going on. Uh, pretty much two of the final fight scenes in the film, and man, Patricia Dunn, like, I've always respected her because... There's this film that, ironically, we, we both were acting in, but we didn't really see each other in. Um, it was called Echoes. Um, but after seeing her in that film, I respected the hell out of her. I was like, I, 
I've always said, like, I hope one day I get to work with her because she was just brilliant. And, man, she just worked her ass off, man. She had three fight scenes that day. Three. I mean, that's just crazy. That's just unheard of. And they weren't like little, you know, punch, kick, bam, they're down, and then she's done. They were like full-on, like, throwing punches and kicks and being thrown around fights, like three in a row. I'm just like, wow. And so she just worked her, she worked her ass off. And definitely big ups to her. Um, big ups to Dennis and Kelly for also uh, learning their fight scenes on the on set because they didn't get chance to they didn't get chance to train, but they just learned them right on set. And Patricia and my fight co coordinator Anthony took them to the side and they went over the fights and and fights just came out this nice man. They were just it was just you know. Pretty much the street fights, man. This is this the way I want them to be. I want them to be fucking raw, and, and that's how they were. They was awesome. My man Anthony just thinking of a lot of the fights, like in his head on the spot. I mean, it was just brilliant. Cause I mean, you know, cause the main thing you do is you, you know, you train for a couple months or a couple weeks, and then you go into the fight. But man, some some of the times, you know, people have jobs and it's hard to schedule people. So I'm gonna train them on set. He did a brilliant job and getting some excellent excellent fight scene so thank you very much for that anthony and i'm open to just continue working with you man because you're brilliant um also big ups to uh big special thanks to scott my best friend scott uh, he let us use his warehouse um we uh man just things happen i, I did not expect us to for us to have that long of a day uh we kind of went way over way over and uh Definitely sorry for that, man. I didn't expect us to go that that over, but we got some brilliant shots and some brilliant fights, and thank you to him for being patient with us while we were um, filming in his place. And now we're on to talking about the web series, The Awakening Tales. That's going to serve as a prequel to The Awakening. And the main thing I like about it being a prequel that gives me free reign to write, um, pretty much to write a lot of stories about characters that are in the film that, you know, don't get as much character development. Because one of the things that I like is character development. I've, one of my favorite auth authors, uh, Stephen King, uh, he's like that with all of his stories. Like, he, his character development has been amazing, and that's always inspired me to be that way. And... I've always just been that way in general in writing. I love developing characters and giving them backstory and pretty much making you care or really hate that character. So being able to write this series is going to be <clears throat> a lot of fun. I'm definitely looking forward to getting started on it uh, because there's so many stories to deal with. I mean, a story about a little girl uh, living with an abusive father and their mother pretty much just puts up with him being, you know, abusive because when he's he's a drunk. I mean, he's already like, he's already a dick, but when he drinks more, he's even more of a dick, but he, he's a little more psychotic. So I got stories like that. You got a story where all these girls have become really close friends dealing with human trafficking because they're all being kidnapped and they're all, you know, going through that whole human trafficking, being sold off to these people, dealing with that. And that that's happening a lot in the world. And, you know, dealing with betrayal, dealing with someone that you think that you love and that you care for, that they have your back and then they betray you. Um, dealing with envy, you know, being very envious of a person and pretty much ruining their lives. And, you know, so there's so many different stories that are going on. There's so many different stories. Bullying, that's another story um, about being bullying because you see this girl, she's having fun and you're just jealous of her because she's, you know, for stupid reasons because you just feel like being a bully. So bullying... So many different stories going on in this web series that I'm really, really excited to get started on. Um, so far, we've got about four scripts done. A um, couple more scripts to get done. Um, the last episode is another one that I really, I've been thinking about a lot. I'm trying to shut my brain off, but I can't because I keep thinking about it. Is the final episode, Coalition, which is going to be a two-part episode. Uh, because there's so much going on there. And... Because there's so much that I really don't say or talk about the character of William and the Awakening. He's just there. He's there, but I'd, I'd love to 
you know, show um, how he came to be. Like, who is he? Who is he? This, his whole story, his whole origin, you know, the origin of William and uh, his coalition and this every this all that whole thing. I would just, I just been thinking about so much. I've been writing down little things. I've been locking in stuff in my brain to uh, to do so. And for that, I just knew one episode really wouldn't do it justice. It would definitely need to be a two-parter. Because there's some other stories I like to flesh out. So it's going to be a two-parter. So originally I did say the web series is going to be seven episodes, but now it's going to be eight. So it's going to be an eight-episode story arc. And I'm so excited and I can't wait to get started on The Awakening. So in January is when we're going to get production on that. About mid-December is when we're going to post up the castings for that because there's a lot of characters in this that we need to recast along with some of the other characters from the film that are coming back. So it's going to be a fun experience and definitely hoping to cast some some really good actors that can really pull, you know, pretty much bring the pages to life to screen. So I'm looking forward to that. Now it's the part of the show that I really like, I'm um, liking doing. I'm hoping to get a lot more of these done. Uh, hopefully, because we are kind of stressed for time this week, and I'm hoping to get more interviews for you. But this interview I did with Cher Shire, we did on the set of The Awakening. We just finished, um, I think, one of the fight scenes, and I was able to get her in and um, talk to her for a little bit. So I hope you enjoy this interview with actress, singer, Cher Shire. Hey, everybody. I am with actress, singer, Cher Shire. Um, she's one of the actors I've worked with before. She's also in The Awakening, the film that we're currently on set for right now. Um, How did you get started off in acting? You know, to be honest with you, I never wanted to be an actress. I uh, actually wanted to be a singer, and I started with music. And when I got to be 27, I decided that I wanted to go to a different route, and I wanted to go to modeling and acting. So I started with a lot of extra work. I started with Final Destination 4. I was an extra in that. I started with Full Sail, worked a lot with them, with a lot of student films. And then eventually I met, I just started networking with a lot of people. I've worked with Jimmy Dempster a lot, and he introduced me actually to you, Kelly. And, um, you know, ever since then I've been doing a lot more feature films. You know, I've worked with Kelly in a lot of uh, films. And um, from then on I just kept going with acting, and acting and modeling are my two major uh, focuses now. Yeah, I definitely I met her through uh, Jimmy Dempster. Um, it's also been a pleasure working with her. Um, she's very talented um she's very badass as i found out because i'm putting her in a couple of fight stuff now and she's been just you know she's scrapping with anyone and um it's definitely been an honor working with her um after this film she is going to be in the web series and um, her scene is very brutal um it's just very messy um so i can't wait to film that with her um what other projects you got going on um, well, I just finished Awakening now. I'm actually doing Room 236 that I'm working on where I am a bank robber, and I'm the only girl out of um, the other four guys that we actually go and we rob a bank in the beginning of the movie, so I'm very excited about that because I do have a very big uh, action scene in that. I uh, don't want to give a lot of stuff away, but um, the trailer is actually coming out on December 15th that I'll be posting on um, my Facebook page. And next year, you know, I still got um, the syndicate I'll be working on. I'll be working on Awakening Tales, and I got more photo shoots that are coming up. Uh, this month in December, and uh, I got a little stuff you know lined up here and there to try to keep busy as much as I can because I do have a full time job. So this is you know I do this on the weekends when I can. Eventually I do want to do this full time, um, but for now I try to stay as busy as I can with acting and modeling to um, keep myself as busy as possible. Good, good, good. So if any um, director out there wanted to cast you or get in touch with you for a project, how would they do that? I do have a website. It's www.sharesharay.com. I also have a Facebook page, uh, facebook.com backslash sharesharay, and those are my two main uh, contacts where people can follow my fan page, and they can get in contact through me with my email address through my website. I always update them on a regular basis. Um, Facebook is definitely number one that I always uh, keep um, keep up with all the projects that I'm doing and working on, and um, yeah, those are the, the two main ways to keep in touch with me. Good deal, good deal. Share Shari, guys, an actress to walk to look out for. And I hope you 
you do at the interview, that's a really good interview with her. Um, Cher, as I said before, she's an actor, singer. She's actually going to be performing um, oh, let me see what song, uh, Mad World, which is going to be the opening song and the opening credits of The Awakening. Um, she's got a really, really great voice, and I can't wait to have that song play when I'm working on the opening credits for Awakening, whenever that's wrapped up. Um, now we're going to be talking about some other projects. Um, so far, what I got right now is I got the Genesis stunt team, um, who's helping me do some of the stunts, and they're led by Anthony Elias, um, who's been helping with the stunts and the fights and the Awakening. And they got, looks like they have two projects coming up. Um, they have a short film, uh, Vicious Anne, which is going to have badass Patricia Dunn in it. <laughs> I'm really interested in seeing how that goes, and I know maybe he hears this and uh, he casts me in it. I'm actor first. <laughs> Um, and then he also has another thing I've been noticing that he's been working on. It's like it's going to be like, I think it's going to be an action comedy, I think, is what he told me last time. Uh, Kung Fu Lao Shi. Um, it looks like it's going to be a little interesting uh, project he's got working on there. He's got a lot of guys uh, training in for it right now, a lot of his team training for it, and a lot of the fights. So I'm really interested in seeing uh, what he's got. Because uh, besides being like a fight and stunt co coordinator, uh, he's an actor too, but he also has... Uh, his company, he's trying to get some films going out there himself, and um, as I said before, he's got a brilliant mind, and I love working with him on stuff, and I hope to work with him on many other things, but I also hope to be cast in some of his things, wink wink. <laughs> but if you want to find out more about what Genesis Stunt Team's got going on, you go to www.facebook.com slash Genesis hyphen action stunts. So that's what we got for you in this episode of the Terminal 52 podcast. Um, definitely having a lot of fun filming The Awakening. As, I, as you can tell, because each one of these so far, I've been talking about The Awakening. I, I can't help it. I'm just loving working on this film. It's been so much fun, and it's going to take a lot of work and posts whenever it's done. But I'm looking forward to all that and looking forward to getting this film out to you guys. I'm also looking forward to starting The Awakening Tales. Um, Looking forward to seeing, working with some more new people and telling these stories because these are some pretty deep stories and I'm really looking forward to working on those. I can't wait until January to get started on those. Um, and loving what I'm seeing from Genesis Stunt Team, some of the projects that Anthony's got going on. I'm looking to see what he's got going on. And uh, pretty much just having fun, man. I'm having fun doing this. Uh, we got day 11. Yeah, day 11 this weekend, and I'm looking forward to filming with some of the kids that I haven't, really haven't worked with yet. Like, it's amazing that we've gone 11 days, and I'm just now starting to work with some of the kids in this film. So, that's going to be interesting, good. working on that. Got some good stuff in there. Also got the opening scene, the opening set-the-tone scene that we're going to be filming this weekend also. So, looking forward to that. Um, thank you for everyone so far who's been listening in uh, listening to me talk about all things terminal 52 and also talking about other projects around the central florida area um as i always say um if you want to interview with me um if you want to promote some of your stuff you know come on on and promote some of your stuff and i'll definitely give you an interview just uh, terminal 52 films at gmail.com i'm um, definitely loving doing this i'm definitely gonna keep it going um you know it's, it's, I'm to the point where just me just talking about whatever, just talking about all things, kind of, you know, pretty much it. But I just love doing these things, they're fun. Uh, definitely uh, catch you guys in the next podcast, the 2022 podcast. If you would like to schedule an interview on Tone of 52 podcast, or if you have a project you'd like promoted, please send us an email at Tone of 52 films at gmail dot com